your design evolves off the paper. That's the very personal part to the design, how you put it down on paper. And I always find a good set of drawings, paintings that satisfy me, help me to create a very good show on stage. But the most important part is then when you go into the fitting room, what you because you don't always know who's cast in a role. So you can do a drawing and it can bear no relationship to that particular actor that's going to play that role. How are you going to adjust that? You need to stand back with this canvas in front of you, looking at this canvas from all sides, talking to this actor about the role, how they see themselves, how they're standing, how they're holding themselves, proportions. And in that fitting with the cutter, the draper as they call it in the States, you are sculpting and you are sculpting a shape, you're sculpting a character within that fitting room. It's not just something, oh, you can only need half an hour to do that. That's not good enough. You need to see the whole thing. You need to see how the hat shape, if they're wearing a hat, the hat can often say, period, can often say character is battered, it's bent, it's uh, oh, too large for that person. That ov oversize will say something about the character underneath. It made the character look smaller, overwhelmed by the clothes they're wearing. 